Give your life to Jesus, right? He died for our sins. You know, Jesus, you're a born-again Christian. What am I being deceived about? Deceived. The world deceives us. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, right? Well, straight people have lust. Right? What's that? Straight people have lust too, right? Right, but we can have newness of life through Jesus. Right, so what am I being deceived in? Well, do you support this, this agenda here? What, what's the agenda? The homosexuality agenda. But well, well, what's the agenda? To, homosexuality to, exists. Right, to, to, to promote that homosexuality is okay. Well, it is isn't naturally. No, no, no. Have you wrote that? The Bible says the it's side? unnatural, yes. Is the Bible social science document? Oh, the Bible is truth, right? Right? Is there any empirical evidence? Any what? Empirical evidence in the Bible, or is it just the... Well, well the, evi the evidence that you have and the evidence that I have, right, we both have faith, right? Well, it is right? faith when science demonstrates No, 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 no. That. The science that you have and the science that I have would, would contradict one another. So What's therefore, your science? That's my question. That, that homosexuality is not natural, that it's unnatural. Well, what's That's your science? science? Well, first of all, if we, just, if we wanted to just take anatomy, I look at anatomy and I know that the penis doesn't go at the anus. Therefore, if you want to talk about science and just idea, I look at that and I say, well, that's pretty, uh, that's, that's good evidence for no, me. I'm gay, but my penis has never right. been in an anus. But you know, you know what I'm You're saying? You're assuming there. what no, I do no, no. no, no, I'm not assuming. What? I'm saying that the majority of homosexuals, you, you talked about evidence, right? Mm -hmm. That homosexuality is wrong. I'm telling you the evidence that I have. Says right? the majority of homosexuals. Say that, that, that the penis is made for the anus, therefore, there's, or is not made for the anus, therefore, it's not natural. That's all I'm saying. Well, do you know that 60% so, of gay men have anal sex, but 40% of straight men do? Right, and that's right. It's wrong. Sodomy is wrong. Sodomy in general is so wrong. So are you going to be having these yeah, guys oh, straight people gather? But, but understand, this is this is for, you could, people My could. My question was, are you going to do this for you, straight people too? Oh, yeah. We do it for everyone. We okay. go to all events. Well, that's fair to turn enough. To tell the people to turn from their wicked ways. Because we could turn from homosexuality, but we're still a drunkard. We're still a liar, right? We're still a fornicator. We're still an adulterer, we're still a thief. But you know that 40% right? of the people here will have never had anal sex. You, you, you right? get what I'm saying though, right? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Right, but that's right. But if they're saying homosexuality is okay, that's a problem. Because the Bible says that it's wrong. What if someone doesn't follow that Bible or doesn't follow it the way you There's only one it? God. There's only one God. And there's only one interpretation to the Bible. No. Yes. God's really? No, I understand that people can have their own interpretation, but there's right. only one. We're led by the Spirit of God. How do I'm led you by know, the Spirit of God. How do you know that your interpretation is correct? How do you know yours is correct? I don't. Okay. But I'm right. not the one righteously holding so, aside. So so when I when I look at the when I look at the Bible, when I look at the Bible, okay? When I look at the Bible. It's your interpretation. Okay, hold on. Where I need to take it literally, I take it literally. Where it says, like, for example, God's a rock. I know he's not an inanimate object. So I take the Bible as for word, what the word says. So you pick right? and choose what you take literally. No, I didn't say that. Oh, yeah. No, it's just called st styles so of writing. No, no. You need styles take? of writing. Based right? on your interpretation. No, styles of writing. If it says God is an inanimate object like a rock, I know it's not saying that he's a rock. It's a symbolic meaning of who he is. And see, that's what, that's what I'm talking about, being deception. See, the world has deceived you to think that, oh, we can all interpret it however. That's one way you're deceived, is they say, well, you can interpret it however you want. You are want. making interpretations. Oh, you're I'm not saying, saying I'm not making interpretations. Okay, then. But so I'm making an interpretation based on is, logic. Based on logic. Oh, my. Well, no, well, my no. question is, why is your interpretation better than anyone else's? Well, because I, as, I already, as I said the first time, right, that, that, that we have the Bible, that, that holy men of God wrote the Bible, moved along by the Holy Spirit, and they claimed that their writings were divine and not human in origin. Therefore, when we look at what they wrote, right, what they wrote, and we see the history of the Bible, I can put my faith and trust in it. How but, do you know that those guys weren't writing based on the reflection of the society at the time? Rather than because God says that that, that, that things were wrong, you know right and wrong. That God told these people this. Yes, they they claim you're that they're right. Taking their word for it. Yes, I'm putting my faith in them. Okay. But see, you're t you put your faith in the men that say that they have scientific evidence that you know homosexuality is I right. Mean, it's or something that's provable and replicatable in, in research. That, that but but I I'm, I can give you like example on the bottom of that has my email and if you could send me information that says homosexuality that they're born that way or that it's natural I can send you scientific information that says it's not let's that's a deal you get what I'm saying I want to see your research right so you, we will do this right yeah you just send right. it right down there we will do this I want you to know I want you to know that you're probably not going to be any different than anyone else I've talked to at any event and that is this that's this they're so sure about it that they never email me I will and email it goes you. to show it goes to show the deception. Am I the type that will email them? They'll be emailing. They all say that. They all say that, and we'll find out. And like I said, the, pro name? the problem that my name's Steve. The problem, Steve. the problem that you're going to run into, right, is that it boils down to the faith that I have versus the faith that you have. 
right? And the faith My that I have... faith, though. It's no, 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 no. Just scientific, discernible evidence. Okay, so I have scientific, discernible evidence that says homosexuality is not natural. No, that's faith. No, that's no, no, I'm scientific... Okay, evidence. Yeah, that's what I want to see. That's what I'm you. saying. That's what I want to see. So you and so what, wait, my question for you then is what if you have yours and I have mine? They cancel each other out. You see what I'm saying? Part of the difference is that I don't go picketing at your church. No, no, no. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about I that. I am. No, you guys, you don't picket at our church. You picket in a broad spectrum across the whole United States, but then it therefore affects my church. Right? How does it affect your church? Well, because then my church... How do I modify or, or force you to do anything different? By, by, by deceiving people, I tell them that it's okay. And so I, I come out here... Your life, I your life, You do affect my life. You affect my kid's life. You affect my life. Because then I have to come out here. Right? I got to drive. Well, I force I drag you out well, of no, Yo, know, because I love you enough <laughs> to come out here and warn you about the day of judgment. I love you enough. See, some people don't love you enough to tell you the truth. Right? You hear what I'm saying? You'll hear from me. All right, what was your name? Pete. Pete. So let's go Pete. To your church, you right. let us join, right?